Today I just wanted to talk to you about tailors in Dubai. I have lots of my clothes made in Dubai and people frequently ask me which tailors are the best, where do you go, how much is it, um, they want to know the process, they want to know about fabrics. So I thought I would do a little YouTube video and explain how it works. Um, I first went to get something tailored in Bur Dubai about four years ago. I had no idea where I was going. I had never experienced even Bur Dubai. Um, I literally, I went with my mom and um, she was very helpful and very patient. We basically just walked around, we parked up, again, no way they were parking, just parked in a car park and just walked around um, looking for various tailors. Now, actually, as it happens, I think all tailors are pretty similar in that area. Um, the price you're looking for um, on an item of clothing just totally depends on what you want. If it's something like hemming a skirt, I think you'd be expected to pay something about you know 20 dirhams. Obviously, you can do so much more. You can make a whole dress from scratch. Um, but anyway, I'll go back to prices in a minute. So walking around Bird Dubai, um, I got loads of fabric just popping into like. It's obvious, obviously, what a fabric shop is because you can see from the front, and um, they're all pretty similar. Um, I was buying loads of fabric and then went through a few different tailors, got different quotes, and um, got a few different things made. I've also walked around Satwar, um, again, same thing, loads of fabric stores, loads of tailors that will do the same thing for you, um, and then Karama as well. Maybe not the same. Uh, Quantity, same amount of tailors and fabric shops, but still you've got really good selection there. So the three main areas in Dubai for getting clothes tailored are Bur Dubai, Satwa and Karama. And you don't need to go there thinking of a specific tailor because like I said, you can just walk around and you can pop into one and, you, and you'll find them. Just be careful though, um, if you are Western, they might see you coming. Always be prepared to barter. Don't expect the first price that you get. Um, now that leads me nicely onto prices. So like I said before, if you're looking to get a skirt or a dress or even a pair of trousers, anything hemmed, um, I would say you're looking anything between 10 and 40 dirhams. If you're looking to get a dress made from scratch, now this is if you're already supplying the fabric, I'd say you're looking to pay anything between 100 and 500 dirhams. Now 100 is a simple um, shift dress um, where there's not too much um, detail and time required. 500 is obviously something a little bit more elegant, something with a um, more complex pattern and cut. Um, might also need some extra beading. Uh, this is obviously just going to take more time to do. Now in regards to patterns, you can bring your own, although these days I don't know anyone who has their own pattern just lying around. I think something my grandma had, but I definitely don't have them. I've seen them on eBay, but most of the patterns that I've seen, in fact all the patterns that I've seen, are quite old fashioned and boring. So the majority of people that go to um, a tailor's in Dubai will bring something that they've already got and then they will just ask them to copy it, which is amazing. I'm sure we've all got that one piece of item in a wardrobe where it's a skirt, a dress, trousers, anything that we actually love and we wish we probably bought it in three different colors well now this is the perfect chance to go and replicate that and maybe it's perfect but it just needs to be a little bit smaller or maybe a little bit bigger um, that favorite dress we put on a little bit of weight recently I can put my hands up for that getting older it's a lot harder to lose weight um, so yeah you go there you can get your fabric and um, just actually match it they are so talented um, I don't know how they are able to do what they do but they do um, now, I would love to recommend you the tailors that I use, but I actually have no idea what they're called. I know exactly where they are, but I don't know the name. So when people always ask me, um, please can you recommend a good tailor, I'm like, oh god, it sounds like I'm just trying to be difficult, but I, I don't know what they're called. Um, but you can, you can genuinely tell from the, from the front. I have three different tailors. Um, the one in Karama costs 10 dirhams to have something. Um, altered like something hemmed he's super cheap um, but there's no finesse in the store it's in a bit of a dodgy area there's no car park sorry let me just close down this little annoying 
stop maintenance. That's why when something pops up when you're in the middle of a video. Um, yeah, so there's no finesse, doesn't really speak much English. So I go there when it's something very simple that's easy to explain and you can't really mess it up. I've taken something there before which was a little bit more complicated and he just ruined the whole dress basically. Um, it's not his fault, I, I don't really blame him. But yeah, it's great if you want something hem, it's tender and you can't go wrong with that. Um, then I have another store that I go to in Satwa which is kind of in the middle. Um, the price point there to have something hemmed would be 20 dirhams but they can do stuff that's a little bit more detailed. The store for, is a lot bigger. There are people that speak English. Um, still, finesse is still a bit, um, how would you say, you're not going to get offered a cup of tea, should I say, when you go there. Um, but yeah, and then the price point reflects that it's slightly, slightly, expen slightly more expensive. And then the third place that I go to is in, um, I think this is in Bur Dubai. And it's really nice. Um, there's rows and prone rows of fabric. There's a proper like change room area as opposed to some of the other places that I've been to, which is literally just a curtain or some back room. Um, it's um, just, you can tell when you walk in, it's carpeted. There's loads of people. All, all the guys working there are wearing suits as opposed to just, you know, like home clothes. It's like a uniform. That's the word I was looking for, home clothes. <laughs> And um, yeah, and obviously you pay for that. So the things that I've done there, they have been beautifully made. Um, but again, it's more expensive. I had one dress there that was 500 dirhams to get made. So basically, in a nutshell, um, if you're looking to get anything made, go down to one of those three areas. You're going to find a tailor um, in any of those areas. And the same goes with fabric. You can, you can go there. Um, and then just be prepared to bargain um, bring exactly Exactly what you want it just try and make it as easy as possible if you don't have the dress um, already in your wardrobe um, why don't you go on to like Pinterest or print out things like I have done this before it's a little bit more risky um, but I've printed out pictures of exactly what I've wanted and they've got it um, I just think try and be as clear as possible um, I have once gone with a whole bag of things, probably like 15 different things that I wanted altered, one was this length, one was this length, etc, etc. 80% um, of them came back right, but they got confused and one dress that I wanted chopped at mid length, he did like a, this mini dress, I can't even wear it because it's just so short and it was a really nice dress and now um, I have to throw it because um, I can't wear it and as mid length it would have been... Um, would have been something that I could wear so just be prepared that sometimes they do get things wrong um, I'd say in that instance if you've got something that's super special that you want altered obviously once something's been shortened there's nothing really that they can do about it um, just like I said be clear I think in their defense that situation and um, that actually was a shop again I can't remember the name that was in um, um, Albasha um, much more convenient it is next to um, there's right next to Spinney's and it's next to a, um, I think it's next to a park and shop. It's, it's right next to one of the Emirates. If you Google it and you put tailors in Albasha, I think three come up. Um, again, um, they're all pretty um, similar price. I found that they were more expensive than the one in Bird of Satwa um, because I think location, it's a lot more accessible for Westerners to get to. They maybe probably pay more rent because they're near more of the Emirates. Um, so yeah, for me, I found it's a lot easier to get to those places, um, but you, you pay for that as well. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's everything. I hope that's been of um, interest to you, and um, enjoy getting your um, clothes tailored. <laughs>